I'm not sure what handbook you're referring to, but if we look at the J. O'Glearum Stage Rigging Handbook, third edition, we can flip to the page here where it talks about tying a rope to a batten, and it specifically calls out that we use the clove hitch plus two half hitches. I don't know where anyone would do a clove hitch and a bowlin in some strange configuration, and maybe you've just got your terminology confused with something else. There are probably some other variations, but I think this is the most common. If you look at the comments in my video that uh, we're stitching this from, one of our fellow stagehands on the East Coast regularly works in a hemp house and says that they use exactly the same method for tying off all their lines to battens, except that they are using synthetic ropes now instead of the natural fiber manila that I was demonstrating with in that other video. The Backstage Handbook has a section on ropes and things, and not terminology and such. Of course, you know, they remind us that hitches in general reduce your working load limit or your safe working load by 25%, and your knots, uh, like a bowl and knot or any other knot, decreases your working load limit or safe working load limit by 50%. There is a demonstration of the clove hitch, and there is a demonstration of two half hitches. And I thought I saw in here somewhere clove hitch and two half hitches as if tying to a batten, but now I don't see it anymore. It shows these other four hitch varieties, but it doesn't specifically say anything about the application of these hitches in the backstage handbook. Even though you're seeing them drawn on a batten or on a pipe, it's not saying these are the correct hitches or applications for tying your lift lines to your batten. We'll have a look inside this book and see if it says anything about how to tie to your battens, but I think this is a little bit more advanced rigging options and more into more modern rigging, not so much documenting more traditional rigging from, you know, 50, 70, 100 years ago. And this book has some bits on rope and knots and things, but it doesn't really get into specifics about tying to a batten. It does show the clove hitch with a half hitch, and it says it must be finished with one or two half hitches, and is about 60 to 80 percent efficient, depending on the diameter of the objects it's tied around. It just doesn't go to say that this is what you would do to tie off a hemp house line to a batten. It's got a couple of other options here, but it doesn't say anything about that being a good batten line either. More knots and ropes and things, but nothing specifically about hemp house rigging in this book. If you don't have J.O. Glearum's book, there's a fourth edition coming out in February, around February 21st. I think it's being printed or released, and it's going to have a new section in dealing with trust that hasn't been in the book since its last printing in 2007, I think it was. All good books, and there's a couple other rigging handbooks out there, but this is a good one, and this entertainment rigging book has a lot of information. I think this book might be a little bit old now, so some of the contact information like vendors and things might not be complete. Uh, 2002. Yeah, this is quite old now. Uh, maybe there's a newer edition of this Harry Donovan book.